Next, we will hear from Mike Castle, former member of Congress and Governor. Thanks. Thank you, Stephen. Good morning, everybody. And I'm also uh, very pleased uh, to be here. And like uh, my good friend from the upper Midwest, uh, and no doubt uh, the other colleagues who are here today, uh, I believe in the collective wisdom of the people. I agree that if the people had a greater voice that would help move us through the kind of gridlock we are seeing with the government shutdown today. Right now, members of Congress hear mostly from organized interests that don't necessarily <coughs> reflect the will of the people as a whole. This exciting proposal we have before us represents a new, very concrete way to ensure that our democracy is truly of the people, by the people, and for the people. I also believe that if we had a citizen cabinet, it would raise the quality of public discourse. The first three words of our Constitution are, as we all know, we the people. These powerful words emphasize the Founders' belief that government should be guided by the sense of the people. By this, they did not mean the people's passions and misinformation. They meant, in the words of Alexander Hamilton, the calm and deliberate sense of the community should govern. Can any of us say the calm and deliberate sense of the community is governing us today? Raise your hand if you can say that. Uh, Americans agree with the founders that what should influence policymakers is not just off the cuff opinions, but the views of the people based on correct information. This is exactly the kind of informed public input the citizen cabinet process will elicit. Research has shown that many conclusions that Americans come to are based on incorrect information. Imagine if the public input Congress received on every issue were informed by a set of facts agreed upon by experts on both sides of the aisle. What happens in a citizen cabinet is that Americans respond after they first get a briefing with factual information that has been carefully vetted by experts on all sides. Uh, they will create a common framework, a shared set of facts that we can all start with, informing these common opinions. Uh, when I was in Congress, my staff and I would have loved to be able to direct people to a credible, credible online resource like the one the Citizen Cabinet will use, where they could review these basic facts and hear all sides of the debate before forming up their opinions. I think the tone of our national discourse would be more civil and constructive if we had the kitchen cabinet, citizen cabinet, kitchen cabinet in place. The citizen cabinet will help the calm and deliberate sense of the community. The one Alexander has been mentioned here before uh, by uh, other speakers uh, talked about, uh, play a larger role in government decisions and help bring about the more perfect union, which was envisioned by our founders. I wholeheartedly support creating a citizen cabinet and urge members of Congress to fully embrace the effort and make it a reality. <laughs> 